Hey guys, what's up? Toba Logo here, and we're back with a 2010 South Africa game. As you can see from the title, we're going to do North Korea. We're going to do it on the real fixture type, so that means that it's the real uh, groups, the real fixtures, etc, etc. There's two reasons why we're doing this today. The first reason is because I wanted to do a real World Cup with North Korea, as in the real fixture type, because if you do a real fixture type, that means that the commentators will talk about North Korea winning the World Cup and their possibilities and their chances of it, and as you progress, through the tournament, they get more, I don't know, they get a little, they get like excited but slightly nervous at the same time. It's a very strange thing to experience, but I want to try and get as far, far as we can so that we can experience that commentary. I think it'd be quite kind of cool to do a North Korea real World Cup run, of course. The group they were in as well, Brazil, Ivory Coast and Portugal, real group of death for them. They literally got destroyed in that group. Apart from the Brazil game, the Brazil game they held up pretty well. Um, and the second reason is because we hit 2,000 subscribers as of recording, which I cannot believe. I'm so grateful, so super duper grateful that we got 2,000 on this channel. I, when I hit 1,000, I was like, yeah, that's basically it. Like, I'm not going to get any more, but I don't know. Like, it seemed to just climb straight up to 2,000 and... I guess we'll try for 3k, but like in the back of my mind, I'm like, I just, there has to be a ceiling, right? I mean, surely there has to be a ceiling. I'm not that good of a YouTuber to deserve that many subs, but I'm really grateful anyway for the 2000 subscriber mark. And all your support is really appreciated, especially during these hard times, especially from 2020 and 2021. These two years have been pretty difficult and for all of us and I just wanted to extend my thanks and my gratitude to you guys so we're just going to start with North Korea today so here we go as you can see it says legendary down there I feel like I don't have to um, like explain that I'm doing it on legendary difficulty anymore so let's find North Korea there they are three star team so we got a good chance with North Korea as a three star team on this because um, they're average and usually if you can get an average team to get good form then possibly then we can go far in this World Cup. Of course there's no minnows really to destroy in this one. I think we are the minnow in this one but let's see how far we can get. First match is obviously Brazil versus North Korea in the real World Cup. Brazil won only 2-1 uh, North Korea did score in this one, which was kind of a shock to many people, but fair play to them for scoring in the World Cup. So we're going to see um, if we can win against Brazil, obviously. And at the start of the game, I'm just going to remain silent and let the commentators talk so you can hear the, um, the dynamic dialogue. The uh, first time we've seen North Korea at these 2010 FIFA World Cup finals, First chance to test out the theory that this is the year that an Asian qualifier can make a real impact on the world stage. They're happy to be here, Clive. Now we're going to find out whether or not they have any belief in trying to get out of these group stages. So we just heard the commentary. We just heard that they were excited to be here. Um, and of course, an Asia qualifier may be the first time ever to win a World Cup. Of course, North Korea back in 2010. If I was looking at them, I wouldn't have said that they would be the first... Asia team that pop in my mind when I think of a World Cup winner, I would probably think more Japan or South Korea, but this is what this game plays for. We're going to try and see if we can beat some of these guys. That was a fantastic pass, by the way, that we just did. Brazil, of course, first game of the group stage. A very tough group uh, for North Korea and a tough match as well. Let's just hope that on this difficulty that we don't get blown away. I honestly think that on this game, North Korea, like their side that they got right now, like they're actually not that bad. They're not like horrendous. And I think that's part and parcel to the fact that they um, did qualify for the World Cup. So obviously your stats get boosted a little bit. But it's pretty good, to be fair. Like they're not a bad side. Um, Like um, the striker... Um, Hong Joyo and Yong Tae Se as well. They're pretty decent if you can get them onto decent form. Go for it. Oh, that was so unlucky. That should have gone under the keeper. But it didn't. But that's our first shot of the game. That was a little bit of a mix up by Brazil. It's just able to go through and try and score. Come on. Let's try and get this header in. 
Oh, look at that. That almost went straight in, and the header just wasn't enough the second time around. If we can, it's get North Korea on good form, but I don't think we're going to, and that was another bad miss from Brazil. If they scored then, it would have been pretty much game over. I think that was actually a save, according to the game, because they gave them a corner, and again, just over the bar. Come on, North Korea. Come on, just get yourself set. We can do this. As long as we can beat Brazil, I don't think we'll have too much problem with um, Portugal or Ivory Coast. Although, that's going very dangerous area. Oh. No, this game, man. This game. Like, I tried to clear it and... Ah, oh, that's so annoying. And I think that was Alano that scored. Well, it's gone to half-time and we're 1-0 down. Not the most ideal situation in the world. I don't want to get knocked out in this group stage. I don't know why Brazil are disappointed with that. I've actually played quite well. Um, not as bad as what people would assume North Korea to play as in the World Cup. We need to find something in this game. I feel like North Korea, they've got like good potential behind them. Like They're a good three-star team on this. They've got pace. They got a tiny bit of strength as well, but like most of the time, I just keep giving the ball away like that. Their passing isn't good enough, and it keeps falling to Brazil. I don't want to be knocked out in the group stages. I want to try and get as far as I can, so you can hear some of this dynamic commentary. I mean, maybe I should have just done an amateur run or something. Then you would have hear, heard it. But what's good? What's the game like on amateur? Seriously, like there's nothing to it. It's been a bit of one of those games where it just goes. Like, yeah, we're going to defend against you. Like, there, look. I don't know why I fell over there. Because he shouldn't have done. Oh, we got a chance. Go on, North Korea. Yes! 90th minute goal. And North Korea have scored in this World Cup against Brazil. Just like they did in real life. And we saved it. Yong Tae If we can get that guy on form, honestly, he is a beast. He, like, some of these North Korean forwards are beasts. They really are. So North Korea get a point on the board. I mean, it's better than a loss. Here we are then, Portugal against North Korea. I'm just going to let you hear the commentary for this one. They could have got beat in that opening match, but they got a point now. They've got to improve on that. I think the dynamic commentary doesn't actually happen, because I didn't hear anything in that one about North Korea in general. It's just like a generalisation of what happened in the first match. They just went nay, day, day, sort of thing. So it's it's such a shame, really, because I, I obviously want to play on Legendary on most of my gameplays. Well, all of them, actually. But the group is just a horrible group. It really is such a bad group for North Korea. They got, like, they got screwed over big time. Any other group, and they might have been a little bit more competitive. Oh, come off the referee there. That was really handy, but... Oh, Pepe's lost it. Here we go. Yes! 1-0. 1-0 to North Korea against Portugal. A fatal mistake from Pepe. And we go 1-0 up. Look at that. Pepe turned wrong way. And I just got in and slotted it in. Well, not slotted it. I blasted it in. North Korea take the lead against Portugal. It feels like North Korea are just like... I don't know, they just seem like really sharp at the moment. They just seem like a really sharp team to play as. Look at this. Look, they're running all over the place. They, they're they like tracking back, trying to tackle. Come on, Yong Tae come on. Get get rid of these defenders. Passes it in the box. Oh, this is brilliant play. Look at this, and it's 2-0. This is brilliant. This is absolutely amazing from North Korea. The strikers are getting on form. Hong Yong Jo gets the goal. I almost messed up his name there. <laughs> And Portugal go 2-0 down. So it's half-time and North Korea lead at half-time. Who would have thought this against Portugal? Portugal are in big trouble. If we can win against Portugal here, that will be amazing form. Pepe just basically slipped me out, which allows me to just look at this strength on this guy. Like, whoever that was, Yong Tae like, he is an absolute beast. I'm telling you that right now. He is like, uh, like a hidden gem on this game. He is just like... Either he's overrated or, like, he's actually that good in real life. Ronaldo down the wing. What's he going to do? He's placed it in, but... Oh, it's gone straight back out, and I thought they scored that one. Very close indeed. And Young Hack. Go on. Go on, I'm just going to have a shot. Ah, oh, Pepe got in the way of it. And it's a corner to North Korea in basically the dying minutes of the game. 88th minute. Can we get another goal just to basically... Be the most dominant team. I just got fouled there by Pepe. I'm going to take the foul. So I want to try and score the free kick if I can. Ronaldo's not pleased. 
he's really, really upset that they're losing against a team like North Korea. North Korea take this famous victory against Portugal 2 0 at the 2010 fi uh, World Cup finals. And yeah, just incredible stuff from this team. I can't believe that we got form this quickly. They've been really good here in North Korea. And uh, we just need to beat Ivory Coast, which is an also another tricky match because Ivory Coast have got, like I've said many times in the past, their golden generation. Very tough team to play against. So if you look at my group, I'm top of that group with um, the best goal difference. But well, basically matching Brazil's in every single way. We're basically a perfect match, me and Brazil. So what you're saying is that I'm as good as Brazil? <laughs> Maybe in North Korea's world, but definitely not in world, world football. Um, Brazil obviously second, they got to play Portugal, a uh, very tough match to call so we just need to beat Ivory Coast or even a draw, even a draw will suffice in this group. I think the situation for us is to avoid defeat. The last match is against Ivory Coast, I don't think there's going to be any special commentary for this one, I don't think, I think it's only in the round of 16 quarterfinals and all that sort of stuff to look forward to hopefully we can anyway okay yeah I just checked that there is no special commentary they're just basically talking in general terms I think it's just for the round of 16 if we get there and I hope we do hopefully Ivory Coast are way off form I hope they are so we can just beat them and get on with the nitty-gritty of the round of 16s and the other groups look at this play oh really really just smash it, see what happens. That was close. Go on. Yeah, that was great play. See, North Korea, like, because I got that win against Portugal and that, well, that draw against Brazil, sorry. I think, well, I think earlier I said that we lost against Brazil. We didn't. We drew, obviously. So we're still unbeaten. Getting a draw against Brazil and um, beating Portugal has obviously, like, skyrocketed our form to the point now where we're actually, like, pretty competitive. So far, this game not as exciting as the, uh, the other ones, though it's still pretty competitive. Portugal have now taken the lead against Brazil, so I don't know what that means exactly. Um, it might mean that me and Portugal will go through and Brazil might go out, which would be pretty epic if we can get Brazil out in these early stages. Through ball here, look at that, look at that through ball. Look, they couldn't even deal with it. Get off of me. I see a sweat opportunity. Yes, it's 1-0. It's 1-0. And North Korea have scored against Ivory Coast. Hong Yong Jo with the goal just before half time. So Kalu just scored against me. Um, it just glitched out for no reason. The bloody... Ugh, that was so stupid. Like, my capture device failed. And now uh, Ivory Coast are getting into their gear. They're getting into their stride. And that was again close. Where? Where has North Korea gone in this last, like, 10 minutes? That was a terrible ball. Don't do that again. Idiot. Thankfully, if that loss of the World Cup, I mean, this squad would have been banished. Go, run, 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 run. Yes, Hong Yong Jo, come on. Oh, really? You just shrugged me off? Like, you haven't been doing that all game, and then you do it at the last second? No, 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 thank God for that. Thank God for that. Oh, that was so close. I mean, Kato was basically from goal, and none of the defenders were, like, set for it. Maybe this North Korea side isn't ready defensively. Maybe they're not. But attacking-wise, they kind of are. And we were so dominant in the first half, and then we've fallen off a little bit now. Maybe because we conceded the goal, so the game's basically kind of like restricted me a little bit, possibly. But we've definitely got a good case of going through here. There we are, we're in the round of 16 with North Korea on legendary difficulty. How about that? We got out of that really, really tough group. Let's hope the glitch doesn't happen, because that would be really annoying. Um, but yeah, like hopefully our round of 16 opponent isn't too difficult. So we got through then, and our next opponent is Spain. Spain. One of the best teams in the game, Spain. Like, why did it do that? Why did it give me Spain? Why did you have to do that? So we got um, a situation here in the quarterfinals anyway. Uruguay versus Germany, Holland versus Brazil, France versus Serbia, 
and we'll either get Japan or Italy if we go through. So, of course, there are no minnows at all in this one apart from myself. Here we are then, round of 16 time against Spain. I'll let you listen to the commentary in a sec, but this is just going to be a really tough match. Probably tougher than Brazil, I'd say, because obviously Spain won the tournament and like the game updated last time Spain won a tournament obviously so yeah they're gonna be the best team I've ever faced in this run that kind of sucks dude like I thought there was um, dynamic commentary in the round of 16 I'm fairly sure when I played it in the past that's what's happened maybe they'll do it in the quarterfinal if I get there come on turn and shoot oh off the post very unlucky come on North Korea keep this momentum up it feels like North Korea um at the start of the match can just absolutely blow a team away that's gotta be a penalty it is PK messed up it's a penalty in the first five minutes and wow Spain have really given up their advantage at, like early really early and is that gonna be it's a red card how is that a red that's a red card for that I mean it wasn't even last man I feel he could have I think maybe have got the ball that's big that is massive in this gameplay and now they've had to Bring on another defender for our, a striker. Let's see if Hong Yong Jo can score this. He has. It's 1 0 to North Korea. And that's a fantastic start. That's a really good start. Seven minutes in, and we go 1 0 up. We might make the quarterfinals after all. Some of the teams I've had to face already Brazil, Portugal, Ivory Coast, and now Spain. So, like, f probably four of the top 20 teams in the world at this point. Like, I'm not joking. Like, North Korea, I think when they qualified for the World Cup back here, they were ranked, like, what was it, like 100th or something? Like, they were saying, like, oh, like, they were the lowest ranked team to qualify for a World Cup in recent times. I think Hong Yong Jo has got it. I'm going to go for it. Go for the shot. Oh, just off target. Unlucky. The first half hasn't been that brilliant, but the penalty and the red card have definitely separated it from the other matches. Definitely a good start for North Korea in this one as we go into half time. Four shots to their two. Their two shots have been kind of weak. We just need one more goal, I think, to put this game to bed. I don't think it's really over, even though they've got 10 men spinning. Yong Tae go for the shot. That was a good save by Cassius. We've had so many shots against Spain. And because we're exploiting the fact that they've got 10 men. It looks like in defence, actually, they've only got three men at the back by the looks of things and just maybe brought on like a like a CDM to close the gap. I don't know. I don't know what formation they're playing. But from the looks of that replay, it looked like they were playing three at the back, which is um, dangerous uh, against this North Korea side. Davivia, Sergio Ramos coming down the wing here. Passes it to Davivia again. He's going to hold on to the ball. Cesc Fabregas he goes for the shot. And what the hell? He scored that? I didn't even think that that would go in. That was a ridiculous shot from Cesc Fabregas, and it's 1-1. One, one. How did this go in? Like, the computer just went, yeah, oh, it took a deflection. It took a deflection, and sadly, it deflected into the back of my net. Why couldn't the keeper save that? Who knows, but it's 1-1. One, one. That was a good play. Go for the finesse. Oh, it just wasn't good enough. Wasn't good enough. We should have gone a little bit deeper into the box. It looks like it's going to go to extra time. The first game of this World Cup for me to go to extra time. Obviously, it's only just gone into the round of 16. Although, they might be able to snatch it away from me. Thankfully, I pushed them off the ball in time. And I couldn't pass it upfield. What was going on with North Korea's passing? This is what I mean by the game. I'm not moaning. I'm just saying... Like, sometimes it feels like I haven't got the right situations and the right sort of, like, talent to go through. Look at that. I've had eight shots to four for Spain, and they score a deflected shot that carries it into the back of the net. Header. Oh, my God. Seriously, stop, Spain. They're down to ten men, guys. They're down to ten men. I don't know what to say to you right now. They're, like, like we have got a really close game against a ten-men Spain. Go for the shot. Oh my god, this game. Header, oh my god, this game is a joke. We're going to penalties, and I just wanted to get to the, at least the semi-finals of North Korea. Please, every time I've done a run with North Korea on this channel, any game I've done, 2006, or uh, this game, I have done it in the past, I just get 
eliminated by some stupid BS. So we're going to have to get the penalties, which is just blind luck at this stage. Look at their stats compared to mine. I mean, obviously, most of theirs are like 90, 80, 70s. There's a few 50s and 60s towards the end. But ours, we've only got two 70s, and then the rest of them are 43s and 38s and, like, 50s. It's crazy. It's going to take some doing to win this penalty shootout. Here we go, David Villa. I feel like Spain in this one didn't play the way they they um, should have done. Like they, it's like beat me or don't. Like don't have in between. It, I feel like I got suppressed in this game a little bit, like a, just a tiny bit. But it's fine, whatever. And um, we scored both of our penalties. Me and Spain, Savvy now to try and score his. Try and like put him off here, Savvy. Oh, did I save that? I did. That was weird. That was super weird. Like, that bounced off the crossbar, bounced off my back, and just came out. If that went in, that would have been the luckiest penalty I've ever seen. Hong Yong Jo, can he score? Yes, he can. Right, we're, we're essentially 1-0 up in this penalty shootout. Okay, right. David Silva now. Can he miss his penalty for us, please? Miss it. Going to the... Oh, really? He put it top corner, even though I went the right way? That's crazy. Ji Yun Nan. Come on. Come on, boy. You've got to score this pen. Yes, he has. Okay, if Spain lose another penalty, they're out. Okay, Cesc Fabregas, the goal scorer, the lucky goal scorer in this one. Looks like he's going to put this on the bar. And now we've got to score this penalty. We have to. And North Korea will go through to the quarterfinals. It's An Young Hak. Can he do it? Can he do it? He can. It's done. North Korea are through. To the quarterfinals, and how about that? We just eliminated Spain on penalties. So who we got then in the quarterfinals? We got Italy, of course we do. Another big team. This is crazy. If we can win this run on legendary with North Korea, that would be absolutely crazy because we're facing some of the biggest teams in the world. Here we go then. Quarter final time against Italy. Hopefully it will have some actual dynamic commentary. It better do, because I'm in the quarterfinals in North Korea. Like, how is that not special? Come on. Thank you for joining us, you and millions of viewers around the world, and certainly every single member of the population of North Korea. The whole country believes that they're on their way to the semi-finals. When it comes to giving, Clive, a few teams as generous as this, North Korea now, I've been really impressed with their team play. So you heard that. There was some dynamic commentary there saying that the whole country of North Korea would be watching, probably against their will, but <laughs> it's fine. We'll um, try and see if we can win this World Cup with North Korea. I hope there's Dynat. Oh my god, we just skipped past them. Like, it was nothing. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Oh my god, how are you missing that? Like, why was, like, the Cellini or whoever it was at the back just standing still? Like, it, it, <laughs> maybe he wasn't ready. Maybe he wasn't ready for the North Korean attack. Playing these bigger teams are giving us a really good form. Like, I feel like most of the time, most of the time anyway, apart from Spain, like, we can actually navigate the field pretty well. We can pass. We can shoot properly. I'm so desperate to win this World Cup. I really want to. Like, I really want to with North Korea. I want to see what the um, the dynamic commentary is for the end of the World Cup. Like, what would they say? I, 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 I've I don't think I've heard it for a while or at least, like, forever. Wow. I mean, that's got to be a red, right? That has to be a red. Like, you're taking me out from behind. Another red card in a game. North Korea are basically baiting these sides into red cards. And, wow, I mean, I don't know why... Was it Grosso that made that tackle? Why did he make that tackle? That's such a bad decision. You could have just thrown me off the ball normally. It's going to be one of those games again where now that they've got a man sent off, it's going to be harder for me to break them down because they'll just go defensive against me. Oh, we turned him and we scored! That was a brilliant move. That was a brilliant move. And Yong Tae the man of the moment, scores. And it's 1 0 against Italy. Could this be the one? Could this be the three star team that win the World Cup on legendary difficulty? Like, a team like North Korea can be really, really good for a run. I feel like most of the three star teams I do on legendary difficulty in, like, from, like, now till, like, the end of this game. It will be basically semi-final or final finishes because three-star teams are like average. So 
average teams, if you can just get them over the line of just being mediocre, then you're onto a winner most of the time. As we go into half time, North Korea are leading 1 0 against Italy. They are one step away from the semi final and a guaranteed fourth place finish. That would be incredible on this run to get North Korea. I mean, Italy have had no shots. Our defence have been so good. Please don't, Italy. I know what you're going to try and do, and they just did it, but it went wide. This, it, it annoys me deep down. It annoys me that the game has to resort to that sort of stuff. It's really annoying. Okay, that's fine. That's a missed opportunity. And North Korea have won against Italy. How about that? We are in the semi-finals with North Korea. How about that? How about that? On this difficulty, all the teams that we played against, all of them, all of the teams have been basically five-star teams. All of them. This is incredible. Like, the form we're getting as well from beating these five-star teams must be insane. So, we got France in the semi-final. Another huge team to deal with. I was kind of hoping we'll get Serbia, but it's fine. You know, we got to beat the best to be the best. Here we are then. France versus North Korea. Let's hope this is a good one. I really, really hope it is. I've had trouble with France in the past, but some of these teams I'm playing, guys, honestly, I mean... <laughs> They're the best teams in the world and I swept some of them aside and we're here now in the semi-final against France. Incredible scenes from... It's our pleasure to welcome you to this uh, World Cup semi-final, a surprise semi-final in so much that North Korea have made it into the uh, last four of the competition. But no other footballing country will have the unified support at home that this team has. Hey Clive, this North Korean side just get better and better. They're playing pressure-free football, they're loving it out here. So you heard that, that was a semi-final commentary, a special bit of commentary from this North Korea, like, getting into the semi-final. Unbelievable scenes. Let's hope that we can make it to the final. It would be incredible if we could. Go on. Ah, oh, that was such a good save by Lloris and a really good chance from us. I wanted it on the other side of him. I wanted it to the left, not the right, but we'll take the first shot of the game. Not only do we have to deal with um, Thierry Henry as well, and Anelka, and just so many good players. I mean, I know we had to against like Italy as well, but like France are just like they're on a whole different level on this game. Like whenever I play France, I just feel like half the time I just can't beat them. The delayed controls as well don't really help. Oh, hello! Uh, that's got to be a foul. You literally slid me out on the end edge of the box, and oh my days, dude! Like. France get, got away with murder there. France are just, like, all over me defensively. Like, they really are just, like, one hell of a unit defensively. And then I go and tackle them, and the referee's like, that's definitely a foul. It's like, why? Why would that be a foul when they've been sliding me out all game? Gonna whip this in. Hopefully we'll get their head off. No, never, never, ever do on this game. That's a foul. Yes, it is. It's a penalty. Thank you, ref. Thank you for giving me a penalty just before half time. That was a definite foul. Like if they got away with that, then I wouldn't I just would have known France would have won the game. hundred percent. No card, but it's fine. Hong Yong Jo, can he score this one? Yes he can. Just about it's one nil to North Korea just before half time. Could they be going to the final where they will meet Brazil? Why can I tackle France? But like, they can tackle me. That was an awful, awful header. Don't do that again. That almost cost us a goal. Look, look, look. Where, where are they? Where, where are they right now? Where are France? We could get two. We could get two. What the hell was that by Lloris? Wait, what's that? That's a penalty? That is a dubious penalty. How was that a penalty, ref? That is never a penalty, and Lloris has been sent off! <laughs> oh my god, really? Lloris got sent off for this, for picking up the ball, for picking up the ball. Nothing happened, nothing happened, and Lloris has been sent off. This is the first on my runs, a goalkeeper hasn't... Mandanda's coming on for Abadal, thank god Abadal's coming off, thank god for that. Mandanda's coming on. And, wow, France are in real trouble now. I mean, okay, I have had a goalkeeper sent off in my run, but never in a semi-final situation. Let's go. Yes, 2-0, two penalties. 
and that's it. Game over, surely. Well, I don't know that yet, but we have a weaker goalkeeper on the field. They haven't got Abadal on the field anymore. No, France. That's offside, right? You What? That's not offside? That really did look offside to me, and Benzema gets one back. There he is. He He's just slightly on, I think. Damn it. Literally, by inches, he was slightly on. Otherwise, that definitely would have been offside. Because look at that. Like, 100% would have been offside. But no, just by inches, he stays on. We haven't got Abadal on the field, but it still feels like he's there. And where is my defence, guys? Come on. Where are they? There they are. There they are. He came back to the rescue. We need to get that back. Oh, thank God. Like, why are France still good with 10 men? Yes! Goal! Mandanda saved it, but he pushed it into his own net, and that's 3-1. That has to be now. It has to be game over. My voice hurts because I've been shouting so much. Come on. Come on. Just five more minutes. I mean, surely we're over the line. Sure, surely we are. Legendary difficulty on the semi-finals, and we're winning. Usually, I get to this place, the semi-final, and I lose. So... It's brilliant to finally get to the final on legendary difficulty with a smaller team like North Korea. Can we just try and stop him? Just to, like, stop the crosses and stuff? Yeah, that's perfect. Oh, that's BS. He got in the way of my kick. Oh, he stole it from me on the kick. This gameplay has had some mental moments. Mental moments. Look at that. He got in the way of my kick and he scores. Well, it's 3-2. If that was the winning goal, I would have just... I probably would have smashed something. Honestly, I really would have. But there we go. North Korea in the final. And oh my god, I'm so drained from playing some of these big teams. Honestly, like, I'm so drained from playing some of these bigger sides. They're so hard to play against on leg Legendary Difficulty. But we did it. We got to the final. And one more game, North Korea. One more game game so this is the last match of the playthrough of north korea we've gotten to the final with them our best finish with a small team on legendary difficulty and speaking of legendary difficulty if i just show you again it definitely is on legendary 100 percent so let's just go straight into this i hope i can win if i don't then i'd be so disappointed the amount of good teams i played in this run is absolutely absurd i hope there's a uh, final commentary for this as well we'll skip it and find out it's a must see sporting event one that the world is watching millions and millions of armchair fans around the globe Ninety thousand here inside the stadium few of them truly believe that they would be watching north korea in this final and this north korean team have been powered on by their fans club they've got behind them in big numbers hey we're set for a special game today let's see if we can try and beat brazil one of the hardest teams to play against on this game i mean france was difficult when i had to play against them italy weren't too bad but oh my god brazil i mean spain were pretty difficult as well but brazil are the only team we've lost against in this run and they almost scored there early, but our goalkeeper got it. Oh, I'm so nervous right now. I'm so nervous because I've never gotten this far on Legendary with a, a smaller team. I've only done it with bigger sides. Maybe because I'm so nervous, that's probably why I'm not playing as well. But I really am trying. But they, they're just possession, like possession-based game, like against Brazil. Good header away. Can we get in front of that? Of course they'd score that. Of course. I mean, it was a brilliant goal, but of course they would. Of course. The computer has no bounds. Why does this keep happening against me all the time in final situations and stuff? Like, why? Like, am I not good enough to win this World Cup on Legendary ever again? These early crosses are just so annoying, guys. Like, I cannot express to you how annoying early crosses are in this game. The amount of times I play this game and I always concede to early crosses. It's just ridiculous at this point. It actually is ridiculous. And it just annoys me so much that I have to go through with it every single time. There's no one. There's no one to support anybody in this. I think North Korea may be a bit nervous in their first ever final. I mean, like, why did the ball have to fly off the pitch like that? Uh, who knows, man? Who knows? But I'm starting to get... 
like exhausted. I'm getting exhausted at the the stuff that's going on in this match. I'm getting exhausted. Really am. Like just it's I've got nothing left in the tank right now. I I, I don't feel like I can actually get past Brazil. Go on, go for the shot. Off the post! Unlucky! Oh my god, that gave me hope. I'm lost. I'm actually lost at what to do. What do I do against Brazil like this? Like, because they just constantly tackle me, and they just, like, defensive and all that sort of stuff. North Korea not pressing forward properly like they were in the last few games. Right, okay, we got a corner. Please, can we do something? Please. Like, no goalkeeper up for the corner? Come on, you should be getting your goalkeeper up for that corner. Yes, we scored! We scored! We scored! Oh my god, we scored. I didn't realise that we were turning round in that situation and we scored in the 90th minute to make it 1-1. Brazil were on the cusp of winning their sixth World Cup, but we denied them here with this brilliant little turn and into the top corner. That will go down in North Korean history. No, that shot was terrible. Like, why do you not, like, shoot properly in that situation? We are going to extra time on this one. Yeah, it's penalties. Penalties all the way, then. I just can't believe that we have to go to penalties in a final situation here. It's going to be mad, but let's try it, please. Please, North Korea, can we try to save some of these pens? Kaka. He's going down the middle. Okay, he scored. It's time for our penalty. Please, please, Munninguk, please. I mean, that bar was going super quick, and we score. Thankfully, we did. Okay, all right. Ronaldinho, can we save his penalty? Please, can we? He oh, he's hit the bar. He hit the bar. Come on. Come on. we got an advantage here. An advantage. Hong Yong Jo. I oh, put that in the yellow. One idiot. Yes, he scored anyway. That's fine. Come on. We got the advantage. Come on, North Korea. Diego. Come on. He's in the yellow. Yes, we saved it. Come on. Oh, my God. We are literally on the verge of winning it on Legendary with North Korea. Look at that bar. Are you kidding me? Oh, that's bang on in the green, though. Oh, he saved it. Of course he did. Of course he did. Fine. Gilberto Silva now. He's got the chance to put this. Oh, yeah, he scored. Okay, right. Okay, now it's North Korea's turn again. And Young Hack. Come on. Yes, he scored. Good penalty. Come on. Right, Brazil's turn. They have to score this. They're not watching. They are not watching. Who is it? It's Adriano. Okay. Adriano. He's put it in the yellow. Oh, he scored. Damn it. Okay, North Korea have to score this one. Please, can we score? It's Cha Yong Hook. Alright, that's in the yellow. Damn you. Yes, it's in. And I think we won. I think we won it on Legendary. They have won the World Cup. Deep, deep disappointment for the losers. So near. Yes, so far. But for the winners. Oh, for the winners, Clive, it's jubilation. Oh, it's just a basic commentary. Don't worry about it. But we did it. We did it. Oh, my God. I'm so exhausted. My voice hurts so much, guys, like from shouting for this whole entire gameplay. Oh, my God. This is the biggest one. I'm, I'm like, shaking right now. I can't believe I just won it on legendary difficulty with North Korea. Oh, my God. And the teams we played as well, guys. The teams we played. Oh, my God. We played, we played Brazil at the start. We played Portugal, we played Ivory Coast, we played France, Italy, Spain, and then Brazil again in the final. Like, my goodness, this run has been full of five-star teams. So, I don't know what to say. You have to give that a like. You have to. And if you're new here, then please subscribe to the channel. My voice hurts. I'm going to end it right here, but enjoy the celebrations anyway. Keep it local as always, and I'll see you again for the next video. I envy the skipper here, I really do, because he's just about to have well, the, the greatest moment in his sporting career. No question about that. Who'd have thought this? Just to be here, just to be this setting, soccer city Johannesburg.
90,000 people, but this is a moment he dreamt as a child. The World Cup belongs to him and to them. They are champions of the world. They have proved themselves at the highest level. And nobody will ever take this away from them. Time to celebrate now, Clive. Over the last few weeks, there have been little time for for any sort of celebration, but they deserve it now. They stuck together and they produce World Cup winning football. And they will go on and they need fear nobody now. Nobody will want to play this side in the future. The world is quite literally their oyster. Well, thank you for joining Andy and myself for a memorable World Cup. These scenes just show what this trophy, what this tournament still means until Brazil in 2014. We wish you good luck.